Hello everyone, I am Lumos, and this is the new stuff pack. This is the Romantic Garden stuff pack. I am super, super duper excited for this. I kind of been loving the stuff packs they've come out with lately. If you saw my movie stuff pack, you saw me freak out. <laughs> so, um, this is the Romantic Garden stuff pack. So basically, it's obviously mostly centered outside. Um, and I'm a little congested. I wake up congested. I'm just constantly congested. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, so there. This is the loading screen. So let's uh let's jump into it. Um, I wonder if my people from um movie stuff are here. I don't remember where I put them. I think I put them in New Newcrest. I think. Did I? No. Okay. Cool. Well. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um. Let's just go exit to main menu again. Let's try this again. We're just gonna fail all over the place. Hopefully, this won't make this like a million times longer. Let's create a new household. One genie Lorray. One genie Lorray, indeed. Um, first we're gonna make you a dude, because I don't think the guys have as much stuff. You are not as pretty as a dude. Um, all right, let's filter. Let, let's first let's go up to the head. Let's get up to that noggin. We're gonna filter it by stuff packs. Let's go down to. Okay, so there's one new hairstyle for guys. It's kind of a. Um, I don't know, just kind of like a, oh, shoot, 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 hold on one second, y'all. <coughs> My husband watches Co on Twitch, and so we've got like dual screens on our computer, and Co was offline, because he, I guess he was at lunch, and I wasn't thinking. That he would be coming back anytime soon, so that was Ko's loading screen <laughs> for his Twitch channel because he's about to play again. So I had to switch the screens really quick to mute it. I'm not sure if that showed it or if it just showed like a really weird, I don't know. We'll see when I review the video. Anyways, so this is the hairstyle, just kind of a casual, like, grown out shaggy do, but not super, super long. Um, any facial hair? No. Any hats? No hats. Any accessories? Air filter. Nope. Probably not any new makeup. These are dudes anyways. Dudes only have a limited amount of makeup. Nope. Okay. Let's go down to the clothes. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're at the tops. Let's check out what's at the top. Oh! Wow! There's actually a decent amount of clothes for men. I am impressed. Because usually, men get like one or two tops. Nothing super crazy. And then... So that's cool. Those are interesting choices. So, the first thing is this blazer. This po okay, it comes in other colors, but it's so it's got like a watercolor palm pattern, I'll say. Oh, that is pretty though. I do like this one. That one's pretty too. So it's got a scarf, kind of like an English country style. That's cool. A little pocket square. And we've got this button down with this pattern. Okay, and then. That one has like feathers. That one has lots of feathers. But it's kind of a floral. I don't really know how I feel about this shirt. It's not my favorite. Uh, I mean it's okay. Um, we've got this vest and ascot, I'm gonna assume. Top. That's kind of cute. I mean, that one, it's not bad. 
It's a little more formal than I would generally go with for my sims, but it would make a good um, party outfit. It's got some nice color combinations. And we've got a sweater. <coughs> oh, it's it's uh we have a see-through sweater. I didn't really notice it when it was such a light shade, but the sweater is see-through, and my dogs are being crazy. Okay, so that open knit is see-through. Interesting. And then we also have a little bit more of a casual uh, vest, t-shirt, scarf combination. Let's see what colors I come in. Yeah. Okay. This is probably my favorite so far. Not really digging. I mean, I love, I love that there's more options for men, but I'm not really digging any of these. I mean, I kind of like the sweater. All right. Let's see what pants. What pants they have. I wish I could figure out how to get this thing to like randomly remember what you want. Okay. So we got some shorts. Some shorts with some patterns. So it looks like it's got all the same patterns that the um that blazer had. Maybe a couple additional ones. Okay. And then some little ankle pants with it seems to be the same bunch of patterns as the vest and the blazer. Um, I'm not. Truthfully, I'm not super digging. Uh, let's see if there's any full body. Let's go back down to that. Okay, so there's no full body. Is there any styled looks? Um, because I forgot to look at that. Okay, so there's no style looks this time. And shoes. What about shoes? Okay, so there's also no new shoes. Alrighty, so that is the men. Let's... Okay. Oh, <laughs> I forgot how to do it. Alright, let's switch to a child real quick. And we'll... Do his socks mismatch? I don't think his socks mismatch. Alrighty, anyways, distracted. Let's go to hair. <laughs> okay, oh, it saved at that time. So we've got basically the same hairstyle for the men. It's just a straighter version, just kind of a long, shaggy, <laughs> pixie-ish cut dealy. So no hats, no accessories, no makeup, of course. Let's look at the clothes. So we just have this button down top with a little bit of a detail around the collar. I wish they kind of had this for men too. Wouldn't have minded this for men. Um, pants, no pants. Oh, I lost the filter. I don't know where it went. Got it to stay for a second. Okay, so no accessories, no shoes. Um, no full body. Alrighty, let's let's freeze. <laughs> let's switch to a lady. Aw. She looks cute. Is there two hair wait? There's two hairstyles. Aw. So she's got this little half updo with some bangs and a little bow. That's cute. Comes in the standard colors and then we've got the little pixie cut which I do think looks cuter on the girls that's cute oh no hats no accessories I don't know why I continue to look at them because I know they're not there oh they have doo doo dresses look how precious that is look at all the little colors oh it's so cute Oh, this is really cute. This little cardigan skirt combo. Oh, this is so sweet. I love this. Um, probably no excess. Oh wait, pants. I forgot to look at pants. No pants. Do they have any tops? The same button down. No shoes. Oh, that is so cute though. I love that. All right, let's make her a grown up. 
I uh, yelled right there, and I'm sorry. Exactly. All right, let's go to hair. So there's just one hairstyle, but it is a very pretty, just long hairstyle. I like that. That's cute. Um, no hats. No accessories. No makeup. Of course. Okay. So we've got three full bodies, so three dresses. So we've got, or well, one's not a dress, but you know what I mean. So we've got, let's take, ah. we'll take all our, sh okay, that, at least we can deal with that. So that's kind of cute. It's a little, um, I don't want to get rid of her necklace. Come here, necklace. Mm -hmm. Just focus on her. Come here, give me your head. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is cute. It's just sort of a little modern, like, fit and flare dress with a little bit of a, uh, underlayment on this. Oh, that one's slightly ombre. That's pretty. So that's cute. Um, and then we've got this dress, just a little belted, um, <coughs> wrap dress. I really like this. I think this is really cute. We got that, and then we've got this little blazer and shorts combo, which I think is adorable because that blazer is super cute. I kind of love how it's ombre um, tie dye watercolor. I don't know. We got black. Well, that's pretty. Uh -huh. So we've got a couple of solid colors, a couple of fun watercolor colors. We got that. <clears throat> oh, hiccups. One top. We get one top. That's it. I mean, it's kind of cute. So it's a little, like, filigree crop top deal. Okay, maybe I really only like it in the white and gold. Where was that? Uh, the black and gold. <laughs> uh, my dog just barked. I'm sorry if y'all heard that. Well, that's kind of lame. Bottoms. The skirt's cute, though. Kind of. Yeah, with the little tie. That's cute. Any shoes? No shoes. No accessories. Well, I'm all bummed out. Well, let's go back. Let's put her into this thing that I liked. We'll change. We'll change her shoes. We'll take off the filter. <coughs> and we'll just put her in some movie stuff back sandals because I like them. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take our little, I guess we should name her, Malia Varela. Let's do it. Oh, crap, I gotta give her things. I don't really care about giving her things, but let's give her things. Um, that, that, that. Oh wait, let's make her a kleptomaniac, even though I'm not really going to play with her. <laughs> Alrighty. Because I love the new kleptomaniac trait. It's so funny. Wasidia is doing a, um, a chat, like a klepto challenge, and it's so funny looking. And I just kind of want to like... <clears throat> Alrighty, let's buy a teeny tiny little baby lot over here. Yes, this is our perfect home. And we're going to see what comes, what objects we get in this new pack. Oh, I'm so excited! Because I hope that the objects are worth it. Alrighty. So we're paused. Pause for the cause. No, stay paused. Let's go into build mode. And we're going to... My mouse keeps freezing. Filter boy. Romantic garden. Oh, they're so cute. There's little... <clears throat> oh, totally lost my train of thought. There's the little gardens already pre-done. That's so cute. Okay. So this first one is Fanciful Court. So it's just basically a large fountain and some statues and some cool... Like the... The pavers are cool there. Um, that might even be base game. I don't even know. 
that's cute. And we've got the Terrace of Promises. Well, that's sweet. It's, uh, just got a little Folly of Lady Cloris. I don't remember what these things are called, but they've got one. <laughs> we've got a couple of statues. It comes with different colors. This one is pretty. It's just plants just everywhere. Plants everywhere. And a cool fence. Oh, is that fence a new thing? Because that's cool. Um. Oh my god! They've got a new kit. Okay. <laughs> so we've got that one. And then we've got the wishing well. Ugh. Okay. So let's go into the actual stuff. So that I can put things on the ground. Wait. Uh. Show all. Just just all the things? I should probably look in build mode too. Now that I think about it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's get into it. Let's get into the things. Let's get into the stuff. So the first thing we've got is this bench. The settee from Park Place. I should probably zoom in a little bit. So we just got this little slightly worn, molded Settee. Oh, I kind of like that. And then we've got the pristine one. Oh, we've got a pink one. Comes in all different co- Oh, hot pink. Very cool. Comes in all different colors. And then we've got the marbleized Chesterfield. Like a Chesterfield sofa. Let's see what colors these come in. So the same assortment of colors as the bench. Which I think is very cool. I like that they included kind of the brightly colors too. So for- <laughs> <coughs> All right, <laughs> there we go. Sorry. So for the people that have like movie stuff pack and kind of just want to do like a nice like bright everything, that they can you know incorporate a hot pink bench into their garden decor. Did I really say I found a butts? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Was the name too subtle? Saunter over and have a seat. This classic fountain beckons your buttocks with its comfortable rim. Okay, cool. Let's back up because this thing is big. I wonder if this thing has like interactions that you can do with it. First, let's check out the colors and then we may pause for the cause. And so we've got the same assortment. We can have a hot pink freaking fountain. And then let's go back into live mode for a second. Because we're going to see what interactions we can do with this thing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Let's turn on all park fountains. So that's cool. Let's have her play in it. And let's add soap. Aw, that's fun. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, it looks like they just kind of repeat the same actions over and over again. I didn't think that was going to be so long. Alright, we're going to add some soap to it. So she stops playing. And now she's wet. Oh, so that's a mischief interaction. Cool. Um, let's have her sit by it. So let's have her nap. Oh, okay, so napping just involves sitting. Um, set color... Why you gotta be so hungry right away? Um. So I can't really see the colors. Do you guys notice any of the color change? I notice no color change. <coughs> Um, 
let's have her toss in a coin. Alright, you're done playing. Toss in a coin. Aww. She's so excited. That's cute. And then you get a new moodlet. A coin for good luck from throwing a coin in a fountain. And they say money can't buy happiness. Okay. Now you... Go back over here. Poor little thing. She's just just making her do everything. Okay. Let's get back into the stuff. No. Let's not do that. Let's go back into build mode. Um, okay. Filter again. Okay. So we've got the fountain. Wait. Ah, oh, it showed, okay, by the stuff we already looked at. <laughs> like, wait, stuff disappeared. So we've got a little picnic table, a little dining off fresco. I'm fairly certain it's going to come in the same, yep, the same color patterns. And then we've got, this is cute. I like this because I, in my uh, challenge, let's play whatever you want to call it. I've been meaning to buy the kids some monkey bars, and now I can buy them these! I'm so glad I waited. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. I should have had a kid so that they could have played all these, but they can't. They're so pretty, though. Oh, I love that. <coughs> We're going to save the big daddy for later. Um, Alright, so we've got a garden lamp. Um... This comes in an assortment of colors, also pink and bright blue and peach. So that's cool. Perennials for the millennials. Millennials, who needs them? They keep gathering under this arch thinking it's a romantic stop for a wedding. Save that nonsense for a nice practical trip to City Hall. This is pretty though. So I guess you can get married? Under this comes in a nice assortment of colors. I'll keep a pause. Why can't she do anything to it? Is it because she doesn't have anyone to get married to? Is that what you're telling her? <sighs> Way to make someone bitter. Way to make someone bitter, game. All right, well, let's go back. And we've got this vertical cornucopia, so a nice little garden planter. Oh, that's pretty. And a variety of colors and flowers. So we've got this triumphal arch of gluteus maximus. So, oft picted toge pictured together with Maximus Fountain, this arch was erected in tribute to his glorious victory in battle against the onset of the armies of Hemor hemorrhoids! Oh my god! <laughs> Did they really? Did. They. Really. So pretty. Another really pretty item. Same kind of color assortment. Oh, I'm so running out of space! Running out of space! The Folly of Lady Cloris. So this is the little thing that they had the had that little bench in. Like that. So this probably comes in the same Yep, same color palette as before. Very cool. Where the green fern grows. This is cool. So this is a statue of Lady Cloris, I believe. Yes. This is the one thing I don't like about. Shoot. Okay, well, we can kind of see her. Okay, so that's what she looks like. That's what Lady Cloris looks like. She probably comes in the same. Yep. Same color palette and same assortment. As the, um, as everything else. Okay. So we've got these cool things. We've got these lattice. 
which are going to be super cool against the wall. Not doesn't seem to have the hugest. It's got a decent range. So we have these that you can put up. We've got one with a circle, so you can see through it, and one without. Very cool. Um, oh, there's another light. So, f oh, a little baby light. A little faux pas path light. Oh, call it. Do you come in any? Oh, those actually comes in a decent assortment of colors as well. <coughs> okay, we'll get to our. We've got our fountains. So this is this one is called the Blossoms Empress. Ooh, I'd have to. Hurry this up, I'm getting more congested now as we go. Same colors. It's a nice little fountain, or little decoration. This is the center, so I'm assuming this is kind of based off the thinker. Um, same assortment as all of the other stonework. And a hot pick one. Okay. This is where the sunshine goes. So this was... Oh, okay, so... One day, the fountain decided to rebel against its owners and stopped its stream, leaving its owners to wither. But the fountain suddenly sprouted... F the fountain suddenly sprouted flowers. Flowers of every color, every kind, adorned the fabled fountain, delighting young and old whoever was left for eternity. Oh, this is beautiful. So it is, it's just a nice assortment of flowers. The same basic color palette. Very pretty. I think I'm gonna have to throw up a wall really quickly. Cause, yeah, cause he needs to hang out on something. And so do they. Um, okay, here. Go to build mode real quick. And, wall. Okay, right, let's... Okay, good. Oh, it kept it. Okay, is it just me or did new things pop up? I think they did. I wonder if this is the rest of the... Maybe that's the outside? This must be the outside gardening stuff. Okay, cool. So now we don't have to look for it. So we can't move. Oh, I love this. This is pretty. This is pretty. So this is the artisanal lattice, I believe, is what they called it. This is pretty, 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 pretty. I love this. All right, let's get Mr. Old Lion, Lion Face Fountain. So it's just a little baby fountain. Comes in the same assortment of colors. I'm gonna end up having to delete some things because I don't think I'll be able to afford my wishy. <laughs> Okay, let's back out a little, because we're running out of space. <clears throat> okay, so we've got... Oh! Oh, there's a window! Is that a window? That's cool, it requires a taller height. Okay. How do we... I don't... I actually... I'd actually have never known how to make the tall wall. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this window now. We can! Well, that's pretty. Just kind of a nice regal window. That is a tall window. <coughs> that is very tall. Oh, that's pretty, though. Does it come in other colors? Oh, it does! Okay, cool. So it comes in the same kind of assortment of colors as the lamps. So we've got this very cool gate. Does it need something to hook onto? Does it? Must be against a fence. Why? Why do we... Oh, there's the fence! Oh my god, okay. So let's put this fence up. 
Okay. So we've got our fence, because apparently it's got to be applied to a room. I always forget that about The Sims 4. So this is cool. Okay, so apparently we've got to go through the colors. This You have to pick your color beforehand. But it's the same assortment of colors as everything else. There's, a, there's that one that does not have... There's a couple that are missing the greenery. But most have it. Um... Well, we can sell Mr. Lion Face. Oh, good, I kept it. Yay! Okay. Fence. Ugh. Failing so much. Okay, goodbye. Fountain. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, look how pretty. I don't, I don't know if you can use, can you use the design tool. Nope. Okay, so same deal. But I'm pretty sure it comes in the same assortment of colors. That's got two that don't have it to match the two fences that don't have it either. A gate this stately demands, Ivy. It does indeed. So that is that. Um, okay, so we've got some... Uh, is there some irises? They're super... They look fairly close to what an actual iris looks like. Well, they look kind of more like a bearded iris. I think. Maybe. I don't know. They're pretty, though. That's all that matters, is they're pretty. We got some thistle. Oh! Cool! I love thistle. The only thing is... Maybe this is just not the thistle I'm used to using. Is that thistle looks nothing like this? Oh, hollyhocks. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to use this stuff. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, this is so pretty. And then we'll skip. We'll do the walls later. Lupin. Lupine. Lupin. I actually think they need an E because I'm fairly certain that's with an E. But like I said, I'm not entirely positive. Very cool. And delphinium. Oh, I love delphinium. Delphinium is so pretty. Alright, let's see. Check the colors. Oh, there it is. I'm like, why can't I check the colors? So pretty. Love it. So we've got... Oh, oh Jesus, that is overgrown. Okay. So we've got an overgrown rose bush. Just huge. Kind of the same color assortment. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. We've got nature's barbed wire. So this is a wall of roses. Oh wait, I didn't oh I didn't want to replicate. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so same colors. Oh crap, where did I, what happened? I ruined something. I ruined something. What did I ruin? I must have clicked off something. Okay. And then we've got the big one, which is just two of that one. They're the same price. Shit, if I had the wall space, I would totally just use the big one. <sighs> Alright, so that's cool. I'm assuming same. Yep, same dealio. We've got a spinning fountain. Cool. So this is a spinning flower fountain. Same color palette. And we've got enough for the wishing well. But I kind of think I'm going to delete some of these things just so she can actually get to stuff. assortment. Very cool. Was there anything else? No results. No results. Got the gate. Got the fence. No doors. No siding. So those are all the, that's all the stuff we looked at. 
Okay, cool. Alright, so I think we're getting to the end of the pack. Is there any? Okay, so there's no interactions with that. Aww! Look at all the... Look at all the things you could wish for. Okay, well let's make a wish for... Let's wish for a chop. Let's see what happens. Okay, so she's already made a wish recently. Let's make an offer of a hundred dollars. <laughs> the offering presented has been found wanting. The wishing well is displeased and wishes are more likely to result in unpleasant outcomes. So because we didn't give enough? Why are you giving Kieran a rude introduction? Let's do a thousand dollar offer again and see what happens. Okay, so apparently it likes a thousand dollars. A suitable offering. The wishing, whispering wishing well is satisfied and is now more am amenable to granting wishes. Okay, greedy well. Fine. Whatever. Okay, so that was the last thing I believe with the stuff. Oh wait, what's her what's her moodlets? Okay, so the coin for good luck. And then adopted Oh, that's cute. So she's happy from that. And then she's hungry. But she's got a bunch of Okay, well This is <laughs> her face. I wanna I just pointed in, nobody can see that. <laughs> Alrighty, well this has been the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. I think that, yeah, the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. Hopefully y'all will enjoy it. I think it's very cool. I definitely think it's worth $10. Most of the time I think that with the Stuff Packs anyways. Because I, I like having more objects and not having to download custom content all the time. So... I definitely think it's worth it. I think it's very, very pretty. It's got some very pretty things. And I am excited to start using them in my game. And uh, hopefully I will pick this up and y'all enjoy this. Let me know what y'all think. And thank you for watching, y'all. Bye.